Hey guys, good afternoon. How are y'all doing on this Sunday afternoon? Well, I'm about to go fishing again this afternoon. You, I find that I get a lot of good fishing done and on the weekends, on the afternoon. Um, but I just hop around to different areas and been really catching them at the city lake here by a waterfall. So I'm going to go back to there with the running water. But quickly, I just wanted to share kind of what I take with me. A lot of people have asked me last week, you know, hey, I see you're fishing. What do you use? Can you give me some pointers and whatever? But I typically don't take my full tackle box. I got three of them. I got a box for my crankbaits. I got a box for my spinners. I got a box for my plastic jig. I mean, plastics, my crawls, everything. So what I usually take is something like this. I mean, this box right here cost me, I think, a buck at Walmart. But I've got a full of different things I may use to over here to little 16 ounce, uh, one thirty second ounce jig heads, a little, uh, we got sh some uh, weights in there that I put on there uh, to, you know, small minnows here. This is like a, four of these for like $1.97 at Walmart that I use, um, you know, little minnows of here, Oop, if I get in the camera here, little minnows here, um, well, get it out oh yeah there we go little minnows here like this that i put on these jig heads over here for crappie i may use or sack lay as you call them down south here uh, here's a different color of that um let's see you know i use like here's a perfect example of the trout jig that i was using last night i've got five different colors of these um but i use uh man the bullgrim tear that up so I have caught bass on that rock bass. We're gonna pan fish on there, um, and then here's a different color that I may use to just throw a different assortments in here. Like here's some crawls that I may use for uh, crappie as well. You can throw on there. Um, you can use these for trout too. So what I try to do is typically try to now three or four fish with one bait. I Meaning I may bring this, and if I go to the river. I can hit smallies or I can hit some trout as well using this uh, creature bait here. Uh, here's another jig, uh, another um, little minnow, imitated bass, and like here's some worms, different color worms in here. This color last night was the killer, man. I caught, I think, let's see, yeah, I caught five bass, lost two, couldn't get them to shore. Um, and I caught like six different brim uh, on this and two crappies. So off this one little deal, which by the end of the night, it was eat up. So I had to throw that one away. And then I carry, always carry a little minnow here. Uh, right here, another hook minnow that I, I can use uh, on my line too. But it's, as you can see, it's got uh, little treble hooks on it. It floats and you pop it up and down I caught last night I was using the gold color one um, always carry you know a different kind of jigs here with a spoon bill on it to catch a crappie as well and there uh, here's a crappie jig a little I think a 1 8 size head which really works as well um, and also I carry uh, use one of my videos I was showing you um, here's another minnow um, some uh, rooster tails that I was using uh, everything's and then uh, crankbait there little things but it's kind of what I take two or three different of each color and a little crop uh, a little grasshopper there too if I'm using my fly rod um, but you know a lot of the little things I can fit in one little small container and then I can put this carry this in my pocket when I go then I don't have to worry about carrying a massive toolbox carrying all that and the other thing is I take four I take up to four rods when I go so I have a spinning bait rod that with five six pound test that I'll put my rooster tail on um, then I'll take uh, some other rods as well different ones where I can quickly throw if they're not biting and they're lightweight I mean they're small enough and fit your vehicle and I have to worry about getting snagged or whatever but then I'm carrying my backpack here with it and then in the backpack I always will carry you know uh, a couple of things I got my trusty I always have these need these these are so good 
clippers to help with your line. Obviously, my old scallop had for like 25 years, which still works. Um, and I see, obviously, more line if I need on my on my reels. Um, and most importantly, I carry uh, would be <laughs> these things. These things have saved my life more than time than I. And if you're catching a catfish, I've caught catfish on this bait over here the other night, and I was like, crap, I left my pliers in the car. I had to go back to get him to get it out without getting injured with the barbs and whatever. And then, uh, you know, carry stringers or whatever, but typically I'll carry this, put it in the car, and it's lightweight, I can carry it. And I have to worry about carrying everything else with me if I nail something or a minnow, but usually, but this is usually it. And I carry a barber here, if I may use a smaller jig. But man, last night, everybody else was using worms, minnows, crickets everything and it ain't catching a dog gum thing and i'm like why don't you use a trout jig and no one thought i was crazy but until i started catching them in reeling them in by the water if i was like hey what do you get that at and all this i'm like dollar at walmart two dollars so hey there's no sense of going spending bukus of money i mean there is when you need it but this all right here is less than 20 bucks at walmart all you see there um, but you know, I've just collect over the years. I like to go to farm auctions or whatever, find lures or what. But these things are on sale usually at Christmas, and I'll stock up for the rest of the year. So I'm hoping I can use this again tonight and nail it. But I just want to share that real quickly and let you know kind of what I use. Uh, I may do a video later, but um, more importantly, fun part is having fun. But these little dealers right here is really good too. Um, but anything pre-rigged is good uh, again just to suit the colors of what you're trying to go after like I switched up if I know they're biting like gray or shag color I may switch to a whiter color I know they're not going to hit this and then I'll switch to maybe something like this on my other rod and that's more natural color uh, in my area the uh, bass have done spawning now usually a month or so after that the brim or bull brim coming into spawn so they're on their beds and bass just nail it so i hope to catch a bunch like using this later tonight it imitates a baby bass so i'm hoping that will do as good as well so anyway so i hope you have a good day if you need anything uh, fishing related uh, ask me in the comments below i'd be glad to help you but um, this is kind of what I do. I'm just simple-minded uh, country folk here trying to catch some fish, go to the creeks, enjoy that sort of thing, and just trying to get out and enjoy it uh, before the rain comes. And uh, just trying to help, man. Hope y'all have a good day. I will catch y'all later. And good luck fishing. I'll see y'all later. Andy Gillen.